Good morning, everyone. The intentions for Holy Mass today for Peter Sylvester on his birthday, for Cheryl Vermeulen, Victor, and Melissa, and all those recommended to our prayers, for the souls in purgatory, for the conversion of sinners, and for the reign of God's kingdom on earth. And we have the memorial of St. Paul of the Cross, the priest and founder of the Passionists. I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except for Jesus Christ and him crucified. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and God's abounding grace. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Kyrie eleison. You came to call sinners. Christe eleison. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the priest Paul, whose only love was the cross, obtain for us your grace, O Lord, so that, urged on more strongly by his example, we may each embrace our own cross with courage through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. First reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brethren, as sin came into the world through one man and death through sin, and so death spread to all men because all men sinned. For if many died through one man's trespass, much more have the grace of God and the free gift in the grace of that one man, Jesus Christ, abounded for many. If because of one man's trespass, death reigned through that one man, much more will those who receive the abundance of grace and the free gift of righteousness reign in life through the one man, Jesus Christ. Then, as one man's trespass, led to condemnation for all men. So one man's act of righteousness leads to acquittal and life for all men. For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so by one man's obedience many will be made righteous. Where sin increased, grace abounded all the more so that as sin reigned in death, grace also might reign through righteousness to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. See, I have come, Lord, to do your will. See, I have come, Lord, to do your will. You delight not in sacrifice and offerings, but in an open ear. You do not ask for holocaust and victim, 
Then I said, See, I have come. See, I have come, Lord, to do your will. In the scroll of the book it stands written of me, I delight to do your will, O my God. Your instruction lies deep within me. See, I have come, Lord, to do your will. Your justice I have proclaimed in the great assembly. My lips I have not sealed. You know it, O Lord. See, I have come, Lord, to do your will. O let there be rejoicing and gladness for all who seek you. Let them ever say, The Lord is great, who long for your salvation. See, I have come, Lord, to do your will. Alleluia. Alleluia. Watch at all times praying that you may be able to stand before the Son of Man. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Let your loins be girded and your lamps burning, and be like people who are waiting for their master to come home from the marriage feast, so that they may open up to him at once, when he comes and knocks. Blessed are those servants whom the master finds awake when he comes. Truly I say to you, he will put on his apron and have them sit at table, and he will come and serve them. And if he comes in the second watch or in the third and finds them, blessed are those servants. The Gospel of the Lord. So we have another beatitude. Luke sprinkles his gospel with beatitudes. Blessed are those servants whom the master finds awake when he comes. And we have come to learn that Jesus comes every day He comes today, and he will come on our final day. Later in the New Testament, we read that Jesus is knocking at the door of our hearts. And if we hear him knocking and open to him, he will come and dine with us. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. But the thing about Jesus knocking at the door is that he doesn't bang on the door. He knocks very gently. And it's easy to miss it, not to hear him knocking at the door. Because we're so busy, with other things. We are so noisy, we are so preoccupied with things around us and things of this age that it is easy to miss his knocking at the door of our hearts. And the Beatitude is completed with this extraordinary reversal of role Blessed are those whom the master finds awake when he comes because the master will come in and put on his apron and the master will serve the servants. Already a hint of the Eucharist to come. And so he is one who has come to serve. Even coming back from his feast 
he comes to serve. And the gospel message of Luke today is that we should be alert, awake, alive when he comes, waiting for him. And so it's a good practice for us from time to time to consciously listen. But if we listen every day, we will surely hear him when he does come on the day of our death. We will be ready for him. Even if we're not thinking about him at that moment, our life has been alert to his coming. If we are vigilant each day, we will be vigilant on the last day. And so this is the grace for which we pray today. But we can help ourselves a little bit by calming down the noise in our lives, by practicing listening deliberately, going into silence, waiting, alert, and we will be rewarded with him coming to serve us at the banquet of eternal life. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. So let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable, 
to God the Almighty Father. Look upon the sacrificial gifts we offer, Almighty God, in commemoration of St. Paul of the Cross, and grant that we who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's Passion may imitate what we now enact. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Paul of the Cross, you bid your church rejoice, so too, You strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with all the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until until you come come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us 
worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Stephen, our Bishop, Sylvester, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. As Jesus taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The Lord, I am not worthy. That you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ. Amen. The 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 body of Christ. Amen. We proclaim Christ crucified, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God.
Let us pray. O God, who in St. Paul of the Cross have wonderfully made known the mystery of the Cross, graciously grant that, drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labour in the Church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Saint Michael. The Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thus to hell, Satan, and all the king spirits, who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen.